I'm Dr. Roger and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular the Laplace transform. I'm going to take the Laplace transform of y equals 1, a constant function, and it seems odd that we would do something that makes our constant more complicated, but it turns out it makes the rest of our differential equations simpler, so this is well worth doing. The Laplace transform of lowercase y is often written as uppercase y or y of s. And a general integral transform is the integral from alpha to beta of k of s t, f of t, dt. For Laplace, we use alpha equals 0, beta equals infinity, and k of s t equals e to the negative s t. So in this particular case, the transform of 1 equals the integral from 0 to infinity of e to negative st times 1, which is negative 1 over s e to negative st from 0 to b as b goes to infinity. Being formal, and it's worth being formal during derivations. So this is as b goes to infinity, e to the minus sb goes to 0 if s is positive. And anything to the 0 is 1, so it's 1 over s times 1 is minus 1 over s for s greater than 0. So the transform of 1 equals 1 over s for s greater than 0. We will typically use a table of Laplace transforms that lists this transform and many others, but it's important to know where they all come from before we start using them. So I'm deriving some of our basic Laplace transforms. Come back soon for my next differential equations video with math there's always more.